The next thing that we're going to do is understand plugins. So what is a plugin? A plugin basically adds functionality to your WordPress website. So for example, by default, WordPress doesn't have a contact form that you can fill out and just send and a plugin will allow you to install something for free that allows you to put in a contact form. Or maybe a website doesn't have a really cool uh, photo gallery, a plugin will allow you to put in a photo gallery. So let's go look at and explore some plugins and let's go see um, what they do. So you go to the dashboard and you click on plugins and you press add new. So we're adding a new plugin. So here are some of the um, recommended plugins that WordPress has. And we can go to popular and we can see the most popular plugins. Okay, so we have Yoast SEO. So this is, you know, how to get your website ranked higher in the search engines. And we can, you know, we can see the star rating and we can go to more details. And we can say, okay, how do you install this? But really, you just press install now. And you can see how it all works. And, um, you know, it will, every plugin will work differently. So you, you know, it's a good idea to look over these details and see how it works. What else is there? There's contact form seven. We're going to be installing this plugin later and we could go to more details and we can go to, okay, how do you use this? How do you in install this? And you'll find that a contact, you know, um, menu item over here and you click on it and you, you integrate it. So, and you can see all the star ratings and we have other ones, WooCommerce, which is compatible with our theme. So it allows you to add a shopping cart and just, you know, the next gen gallery, which is, um, a gallery, a really cool photo gallery. And we have WP super cash, which makes your website faster. And we have all of this really cool and fun stuff. So we have a word fence, word fence security, which makes your website more secure. And um, so we have all of this, uh, all of these plugins. So plugins just add functionality to your website. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say about this. So we'll go back into our dashboard and we will say, okay, we understand plugins. So we're gonna complete this.